My name is Fernanda Canales with a practice based in Mexico City. My project for the Venice Biennale is titled After the House, Privacy in a Shared World and consists of a series of models, of large-scale models, that attempt to address the question how we will live together. It poses houses that redefine ownership and redefine the relationship between private and public space, the notion of collectivity, and offer alternative ways of relating bodies, structure, and the environment. This project revokes the oppositions with which we usually design and build our cities, oppositions that broaden the gaps between public and private, between owners and dispossessed, and between living and working. The focus lies on the space that exists in between the private realm of a bed and the collective space of a sidewalk. It criticizes the ways we are building cities. For example, we have millions of people without homes and millions of abandoned houses throughout the world. It is a project that searches for more diverse ways of living, acknowledging the fact that space, air, and resources are things we all share. The project reflects the idea of building changing systems based on the coexistence of individual needs and collective desires. This past year with the pandemic, we have all seen how stupid and useless more than half of the spaces in our houses are, or even more. We have seen transform our houses into schools, sport facilities, office spaces. But it is sad to see that this transformation have occurred exclusively through a screen and that we still have been unable to lead this transformation into the architectural space. What is happening in our dwellings is still completely fragmented and unrelated to cities, to outer lives and to the environment. So this project poses more lively and complex interactions between living, resting, working, between having privacy within shared structures and expanding the uses and the meanings of the spaces that belong to one but affect all. This project searches for spaces that are less demanding, more fun, more comfortable and comforting, not exclusive and are not excluding others and excluding us from the life that exists outside. In that sense, my project has also changed throughout this past year and I am sure it will continue to change in order to provide richer interactions, less aggressive limits, less occlusion and more health.